Hi, my name is Jack Boring, and in this video we're going to talk about the Windows Snipping Tool. So you might be asking yourself, why would you use this tool? Well, uh, some things you might want to do is capture some photos off the internet, uh, possibly some recipes. Uh, maybe there's some document excerpts that you want to capture from a document that somebody sent you. Uh, maybe there's some special quotes to you. Um, there might be other reasons that you want to do it. Uh, this quote kind of uh, says it all. There are two sides to every story, and then there are screenshots. Uh, screenshots really help you uh, with documentation. My assumption here is that you're using a Windows uh, computer, uh, specifically Windows 10, too. So to use the snapping, snipping tool, all you have to do is hold the Windows key down and the Shift key, and then press the letter S. So it's Windows, Shift, S. There are four options to the snipping tool, and when you activate the snipping tool with the, the Windows key, Shift, S, you'll be presented with this uh, small menu. The first option is the rectangular snip. The second one is the freeform snip. There's the window snip and then the full screen snip. And if you want to cancel out of the snipping tool, you would click on the X. We'll describe these in more detail on the next slide. In order to demonstrate the features of the snipping tool, I've captured uh, a full screen image right here. And what I've got is two windows. I've got a window on the left that is my PowerPoint presentation, a window on the right which is a number of images that I found uh, just using Google. So if you want to capture the entire screen, you would use the full screen snip. If you want to capture a portion of the screen, okay, you could use the window snip. And in this case, I picked the the window on the right hand side to capture. You can capture a freeform snip, which is basically a way to capture a freeform um, part of the screen. Or you can do a rectangular snip, which basically captures a rectangular portion on the screen. The best way to learn how to use this is to, to actually try it out. So now let's take a look at two of the options that you're more than likely to use. One is the rectangular snip and the other is the freeform snip. So, so the first thing you want to do is activate the snipping tool. So I'm going to do that with my holding my Windows key, my Shift key, and then pressing the letter S. And it'll bring up my options window. And in this case, I'm going to start with the rectangular snip. Um, and to capture something, I have to hold down my left mouse button and drag until I've got my window that I selected and then I let go of my left mouse button. Now it captured that into the paste buffer so I'm going to pick a new slide here to put this on and if I use hold the control key down and press the letter V um, I can paste my uh, picture that I've captured onto this slide. The other thing you can do is you can dress it up a little bit. I'm going to put a frame around this to kind of highlight it a little bit. Now let's go back to the snipping tool again and, and, and let's use the freeform snip this time. So in this particular case I'm going to capture this waterfall and the way I'm going to do that I'm going to activate the snipping tool which is the Windows key shift S and I'm going to select the freeform snip and you could have selected any one of these but I'm going to click on freeform and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick this waterfall here and so I hold my left mouse button down and draw you know a figure around it okay and it copied that into the paste buffer so now if I want to take that and paste it here control V okay so now I've got an irregular shaped figure and another thing that you can do with this is to um, put the um, you know different effects on it you probably aren't going to be able to see this I'm going to make the edges soft on this so it kind of fades into the background. Um, there's a number of formatting options that you can use. Okay, uh, So use your imagination and uh, it's an easy way to capture images and probably the best way to learn it is to try it. Remember in Windows 10 it's Windows key shift S. Good luck!